Chris Eubank Jr. versus Marcus Marsden. It's official. Fights taking place on the first day of May, May 1, 2021. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, this fight taking place on May 1. First fight of Eubank under Team Sourland. If you guys don't know, he recently signed with Sourland Promotions with the Sourland Brothers. And now here he is back on May the 1st in the undercard of Chisora versus Parker. Great card, in my opinion. Live on Skybox Office pay per view over in the UK. So, to the British fight fans, you guys will have to buy it on pay per view. For the other fight fans, like here in the US, it will be shown live. Over here in the USA on the zone D A Z N. So um, so yeah, uh, Chris Eubank. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen him fight. Last time I was in the ring was uh, back in December 2019, uh, over at the Barclays Center here in uh, the US in uh, Brooklyn, New York, against Korobov. Uh, since then he hasn't really fought at all during 2020, uh, and now here he is with um, Steam Sourland and possibly. You never know. He might fight uh, Canelo one of these days. Who knows? You never know. But he's comp he's now competing at 160 though. So at 160, maybe Triple G. You never know. But he first things first, he has uh, Marcus Morrison in front of him. Marcus Morrison is a 28-year-old fighter from the UK as well. So two British fighters. 23-3. and three. 16 wins coming by way of Nakar Tikio. He's coming for a win from earlier this... No, actually, this was last year. 2020. Uh, January 2020. Against Daryl Sharp. Oh my god, what's up with his resume, man? Ooh, look at this. What the f his, his last fight was against Sharp, who had 5 wins and 69 losses. He lost to a guy who had 10 wins and 18 losses. Yo, what's up with this resume? I mean, come on, man. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are better fighters out there. Come on. Yeah, come on. Why this fight? Oh my. I mean, he has a decent record 23 and 3. That ain't bad. 16 wins coming by way of Nakar Tikio, but look at that, man. Look at that resume. 50 losses, 42 losses. Come on, dude. If you add up all the wins and losses of this guy, he, it, it, the, the losses like of the opponents this guy has fought, the losses just quadruples the amount of wins that the fighters he's fought. Oh my goodness, man. I mean, he had this one win, a good win over in uh, Italy against Emmanuel Blandamura. For the vacant WBC international middleweight title. I mean, that's a decent win, but come on. Let's have this guy's resume. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe he's good. You never know, right? You just never know. Uh, obviously, I'll need to do my homework. Watch some footage of uh, Morrison. See how good he really is. And uh, I'll let you guys know who I think will win as we get closer to the fight. I mean, May 1 is coming up pretty soon. This is a very damn good card. Mark it down in your calendars. Tune in on the zone. If you live in the UK, tune in on Skybox Office pay-per-view. Let me know what you guys think about this fight. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.